Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for the month of September. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week. So happy birthday to you guys. Uh, September or August, doesn't matter. Happy birthday to you. Alright, so um, I am going to timestamp it below. So if it does resonate, make sure that you like and subscribe, please. So you can come back and uh, kind of keep tabs on where things are. Alright, so Virgo, month of September. Remember that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy. The energy of the person you're dealing with at the time so flip it how you need to excuse me also remember it's a general reading so take what's yours and leave the rest behind if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that information is below as well all right what's the word for the birds for september hey <laughs> All right, so there's something shit new here. Oh, and there's that devil. Um, it really just off like first instance of the feeling of the cards. You got to figure, somebody's got to figure out what they want. Like clearly decide what they want. That's the feeling. Thank you. Because the overall energy, you got the Knight of Wands. That's Aries Leo Sag energy. That, that's, it doesn't have to be though. Um, it could be an age difference. That's kind of a non-committal energy. So the thing is, there's feelings behind it. It looks like something here right off bat is trying to start out, start up. Um, you do have the devil here. So it could be like a cycle that kind of keeps repeating Capricorn energy. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, I'll show you in a minute. And maybe um, you're just taking your time and that's cool. But this Knight of Wands, that doesn't seem to be what it is. It seems to be like there's always at the first of the month you have the ace of wands right so the idea of something it could be like a, a sexual it doesn't have to be though but it's kind of like the start of it by the last week it's still just at the two so still trying to figure out how to get there and in between you have like this two of swords energy crossroads energy you have the devil energy so you have a lot of things that feels like trying to block you from where it is that you're trying to go sorry about that even when i put on vibrate it connects to the speaker and then it's like forget quiet all right so anyways let's just see where this is going so for the first week you have the ace of wands like i said and you have the three of pentacles show me that ace of wands for virgo for the hey See, it's like the thought, the idea is there, but somebody is turning their back towards it. Whether it's you, whether it's them, somebody is walking away from something. Wait, and now the Ace of Cups. This is something that you're manifesting here. Um, it's This could be something brand new. It could be a fresh start there. Um, but it looks like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. It's like it's there, but somebody is turning their back towards it. For whatever reason or you could be walking away from one thing and going towards something brand new or rekindling something but also with that queen of swords excuse me energy it could be aquarius libra gemini but could be more money focused right now or you're kind of you also could be not very open towards the situation so it seems like three different ways that could resonate there is something new there or the opportunity it's like it's just sitting there um, but then we have somebody, you know, not, not, it looks like entertaining it. Show me the three of pentacles for Virgo for the first week. Cause the three of pentacles is putting in the work. It could be towards career. Um, the king of pentacles. Yeah, that's your energy. Show me that three of pentacles. You could just be more career focused right now um what's going on here yeah it looks like i mean somebody we shit somebody has definitely got some guards up some defenses up uh meditate 
but it kind of just feels like a lay low energy kind of not really accepting this this cup this idea right now maybe more focused on career and kind of it seems like blocking that off on both sides Show me the Two of Cups for Virgo for the second week. So here you have the Two of Cups. So it's almost like, I don't know if it's related to this, but continuing with this Ace of Cups, now we have the Two of Cups. So there is a bond here. There are feelings, but then we also have this Two of Swords. So, you know, communication, we'll have to clarify and see, but communication or like openness to this may kind of be shut down. Show me this Two of Cups for Virgo. Because this is like a bond that you share with somebody. But somebody is very much worried about it. There's some anxiety around it. Um, you know, kind of losing sleep type energy. Somebody is now, yeah, trying to manifest. Trying to make things happen. Trying to get them in go mode. But um, this, this kind of mentality... Um, which is kind of what I call mind fuckery. Like our mind can play tricks on us. You know, we worry about stuff so it can halt that manifestation. And that's kind of what's happening because it's like something is trying to be changed here. Like I said, for the two of wands, for the outcome, you're trying to move forward towards something. You're trying to change it. But then you keep getting caught up with this knight of wands who's here for the overall energy. Show me the two of swords for Virgo for the third, the second week. We're still in the second the three of swords, the wheel, um, the two and the three of swords. So it's kind of like stuck on some pain or maybe there's distance kind of waiting for, you know, things to change. You do have, uh, the wheel on your side. That's good luck. That's destiny. That's fate. So like right now, whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, it may feel like you're kind of worried, like it's not going to happen. But also at the same time, somebody is like protecting the hell out of their heart. So if it's something like love is presenting itself and it's something that you want, um, don't get caught up like in this worry, this mentality. Because with this two of swords, it can cut off like our, we can kind of shut down with our heart chakras, things like that. So it makes it hard to let someone in or like to have a trusting relationship things like that so it kind of it depends on your situation at the time but you know with with the same two of swords here at the bottom and the temperance sagittarius energy is just about healing and waiting focusing on yourself your higher self and listening to yourself all right so for the third week you have the strengths card and the devil leo energy capricorn energy tell me about the strengths card Leave the moon. Whoa, what is popping up here? Yeah, there's some shit that's happening in the background here. Show me the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Feels like kind of an eruption trying to happen here, like something that had been unseen is like trying to come forward. The Hierophant Taurus energy. What's the higher fan? Feels like a whole lot is, is is trying, like I said, to erupt. But um not been a whole lot of movement. The eight of pentacles. Well you could be more you know, work really taking off. You could be doing something spiritual. There is something here that you're you're working on. Maybe something that you've been saving up for or something that you kind of been holding on to. Show me this devil for the same week for Virgo. I don't like that the moon and the devil is on the same. It's a devil again. The devil literally clarified the devil. So watch out. What is this devil? The king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, and the knight of wands. Here they come. This is that overall energy. Somebody is coming through like crazy. This is probably like hot and tempting but uh smell good talk good sound good full of shit could be some drinking going on something like that but this person is rushing in and yeah i mean it looks like it makes you happy cancer energy with the chariot and the nine of uh cups 
that's your wish fulfillment. It looks like it makes you happy, but um, this kind of energy usually doesn't last long. That's kind of that non-committal energy. Yeah, there's communication, things like that. Show me the Seven of Cups for Virgo for the fourth week because we're right back to trying to figure out how to move forward at the two stages out of ten. You know, options, trying to figure shit out. Show me the Seven of Cups for Virgo for the fourth week. The judgment, it's about literally about making a sound decision here. Trying to work on the path, but still, yeah, see the four of cups. It's almost like no effort. I mean, the, it's, I hate to say it like that. It's like the decision needs to be made, but this is a cancer card with the four of cups. It's like, it's not, it doesn't feel like much effort is being made towards that. Show me the two of wands. Like still confusion. And that could be because of self-doubt. That could be because of loss of interest. That could be because of busy. But it almost feels like something that's kind of like feeling neglected here. The two of wands is clarified by the two of wands. So you're definitely. And there's that two of swords. We're, I mean this is kind of like a. It's, so it's having this choice again and kind of going nowhere and then i'm kind of same back at the same position this is just a loop this is the seven of cups same card that's right here like i said somebody has no clue what they want and i mean you know that's cool if you're just maybe you're out just doing you right now but there's something here also for some like that's trying to start up. Um, but then it's like kind of wanting it, but not wanting to let the guards down. Maybe because there's an age difference or maybe because, you know, somebody is kind of in and out player energy or just not really up for commitment right now. For some, it could be because like you're the boss lady, but a lot of sexual attraction here. There could be in some like a sex addiction type thing. This is just like a revolving door. And it kind of almost winds up where it starts. All right, Virgo. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.